nothing's gonna stop me. Nothing's gonna stop me. Screen. She fires. Holy cow, what a shot! Harding back the other way. Got it off. We're going to the top. Nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to stop me. Waged against the Bumake. Three to shoot. Tolliver has to heave. You got some shooters that start from here and then they want to add this or focus on this first before you add these, before you add these. Just knock down, straight forward, keep it simple. To me that's always been the way and never try to go outside of yourself. When I started learning how to shoot, I didn't grab the big ball and try to shoot at a 10 foot rim. I started with a tennis ball on a rim about this high and then I gradually got to a rim this high with a little mini ball. So it's just the baby steps and trusting the process of creating good habits and being that consistent self every time. Christy Tolliver's legacy will live on forever here at Maryland. I know all of us remember the shot that she hit as a freshman in the 2006 National Championship game. That's something that I trained for my whole life, you know, whether it's if one of the, it was in my basement as a kid or, you know, in my side yard, you know, 5-4-3-2-1, you got to make a play. Um, and I was able to do that on the biggest stage of women's college basketball. To be a great shooter, it's consistency, it's keeping your self-discipline, uh, it's holding yourself accountable to show up and do your best every day and do it the same way every time.
I was just shooting, shooting, shooting all the time. You know, some of my most fun, enjoyable, and memorable uh, experiences. The thing about Christy, uh, to be the kind of player that she is, is, is self-confidence. I watched you play since college. The confidence you exhibit is palpable. I could see it, I could feel it. Is that something you believe you have, confidence, when you play? Yeah, um, I think confidence is key. You have to have it um, in order to succeed. And um, you know, The definition of confidence for me has always been um, you know, staying positive no matter what the outcome, no matter what the situation, that, that's what confidence is. So. How did you develop it? I mean, did you develop it at an early age? Have you always had it? Yeah, I think I've always kind of had it. And I think it just comes from trusting your training and knowing the hours of, of work that you put in. And, you know, since I was two years old, I've had a basketball in my hands and I just trust my abilities. Ever have a crisis of confidence? Ever lose your confidence? And, and how did you regain it? Yeah, I mean, it's only natural to, to lose it at certain points, especially in a game uh, when things aren't going your way. But, you know, you just have to remind yourself of, of who you are and, and all the work that you put in. And, and that reminder alone always makes me bounce back. Any tips for young people in terms of developing confidence? I feel so many players could be better if they just had confidence. Yeah, I mean, just believe in yourself. Um, you know, be your number one fan. That's what I. That's what I tell everyone. Uh, you, you know, you, I'm always my number one critic. And I'm hard on myself, but I'm also my, my number one fan. I think anybody who makes those type of shots is somebody that really wants and desires and is looking forward to those moments. And I've always kind of been one of those people. I can play a game and miss 10 shots, and I'm feeling guilty, I'm not taking the 11. You're taking the 11 shot. Do you have to not have guilt to be able to really kind of take that 11 shot? Yeah, I think there's a fine line. Um, obviously, when you're in, in the moment uh, of the game, um, it's all about making the right play. Um, and sometimes that, may, that means taking that 11 shot, and sometimes it means it doesn't, but the point is to, to not be afraid of it. Okay, maybe a double back screen here. Goes to Candace. Tolliver for three. It's short. Rebound. Parker going to get the two. Two point game. 15 seconds in. It's not over yet. Almost stolen. It is. Mecca stole the ball. Tolliver for three. Got it for the lead. Oh, 
Tracy Tolliver's first basket of the game. How about the steal by Neca? Neca stole the ball. Neca stole the ball. She did in front of her sister. Tolliver comes left <laughs> and nails it. How many times has Benny Toller told us she loves Tolliver because she's got grit. She's got some street in her game. She is a stone cold killer. Seconds left, inbounds it. Wumake to Tolliver, their best long range shooter. She leans in, puts it up, and puts it in. Five to shoot. Tolliver will force it and hit it. Down the four, off the dribble for three. Tolliver, oh, yes. Tolliver! Wow. A 12-0 Connecticut run. Tolliver leaning, hits at the buzzer. And ends the 12-0 run. But boy, did things get more interesting in those final two minutes. Christy Tolliver, smart shot blocker. Get her off her feet. Yes, it's out in time.